you know how sometimes you wake up in the morning and with a feeling of dread? Well, I certainly know. The dread being what the hell happened last night. Usually caused by alcohol abuse, which in my case is the case. Well, this was my Sunday morning, waking up thinking, oh God, what have I done? Knowing that I'd done something crazy or I was covered in bruises, head to toe, the back of my head, all down my back, or I could have fallen over. I mean, unfortunately, it took me till Tuesday to contact one of the group to find out exactly what it is that I'd done. And uh, because I had sort of no memory after the second bottle of champagne, at Solentin Army in San Remo. I'd just like to apologise, as I have done to all the band, for my disgraceful behaviour to uh, anyone who I might have offended that evening. The, the lads assure me that I was, I was right as rain all the way through the gig. I can't even remember the set, third set. They assured me I was, I was fine, no problem. I was as courteous and nice as ever to uh, the bar staff and all the people there. But some some of my close friends know that sometimes when I drink too much, I can get rather angry. Sorry, Nick. Shopping trolleys are a no-no forever. I get a cold sweat every time I go shopping because of that night. But yeah, it has been known that I've become rather out of control. It's tense. My sort of feeling of doom on Sunday morning. Luckily, no one was injured, no one was arrested, nobody was offended for a long time. They all seemed to think it rather amusing. But uh, that sort of feeling of self-shame. It's, uh, it's time to have another word with myself, let's say. I rock and rolled over several times and had the bruises to prove it. But uh, still, you live to rock and roll another day, don't you? And that's certainly what we did Wednesday. Last night, at the gaff. Back with Tom for the first time in a week. It seemed like a month, it seemed like forever. But nice to have him back from his uh, holiday. We celebrated Yo-Yo's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Yo-Yo's birthday is a really easy one for us to remember because it falls on November the 5th. Remember, remember, the 5th of November, gunpowder treason and Yo-Yo's birthday. So we had a good civilised celebratory drink last night and uh, it's really cool to be back in the fold and, you know, and, and, and to, well, to be back together again, it's fantastic. Al's already left for Prague this morning. I'm joining him there tomorrow night with the rest of the band. He's going to lay the way, pave the way. And uh, it's because we're doing our Transylvanian castle gig this weekend. We're really looking forward to it because it's going to be a, a very special weekend. And, <clears throat> oh, yes, I, I've received a package from the other side of the world, a place called Coffs Harbour, which is an absolutely gorgeous place, populated by many animals and uh, and fish and whales but one thing I want to know is Trini what the hell is this it looks like a hedgehog with a long nose but it's big it's nearly as big as a kangaroo <laughs> or is that just a scale problem what does it do does it lay eggs does it bark it's Australian it's got to be weird but please captain I need help on this question so just so I can inform the kids what it's called. Thank you very much, Captain, for your little uh, package. It's well received. My T-shirt will be on view next time I do a diary. And uh, it is rather large, but I'm sure it'll shrink down nicely. And uh, yeah, it's just, I've explained to everyone else, so, so we sort of had a joke about not, me not wearing a T-shirt. And so just to cover me up, uh, Captain Trini 
sent me a little package including a, a t-shirt from Coffs Harbour which are the postcards that she sent me. It's got to be one of the most beautiful places on earth. It's absolutely gorgeous. So uh, thank you Trini again. I hope you get our package soon. It's meagre in, in comparison but the same intention I'm sure. And, uh, and anyone else who, from around the globe who wants to send me a t-shirt from there hometown, feel free to do so. I don't have a Leicester one, by the way. Like a Leicester t-shirt. I don't think it exists, though. <laughs> anyway, look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head off. I've got an easy day ahead of me. Just uh, getting ready for tomorrow, really. Looking after my son, who's now asleep, so when he wakes up, we'll go off and uh, do our thing. I hope you have a lovely time. It's really sunny and nice and warm as usual down here. I hope it's not too bad for you. Oh, there's a pigeon at my window. Don't come in, wood pigeon. I would show you, but it's far too sunny. The glare would not allow the, you to be able to see the pigeon, and he's off anyway. So, I'll speak to you soon. Have a great week. I'll talk to you when I get back from Prague. Hopefully, I'll have some photos or maybe even a little film. So enjoy your weekend and uh, we'll miss you.